वेलकम राहुल सर अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू वन एंड ऑल दिस इज प्रोफेसर नीना फर्स्ट ईयर कोऑर्डिनेटर होस्टिंग टुडेज प्रोग्राम वर्चुअल रिस्पेक्टेड डिग्नेटरीज इनवाइटीज गेस्ट पेरेंट्स एंड स्टूडेंट्स कंग्रेचुलेशन टू फर्स्ट ईयर students who joined our esteemed organization a warm a warm welcome for 35th induction program 2020 conducted by dr t timaya institute of technology agf we shall now go with the customary way of invoking the blessing from almighty with an invocation feeling thy presence feeling thy grace feeling thy radiance you are my source of faith and strength you are my path and destination and i'm always connected to you nothing of me and everything of you lead me higher lead me deeper lead me beyond lead me to you with this solemn start now we'll visit the college video virtually scientists dream about doing great things engineers do them said james a mishner and dr t timaya institute of technology upholds this tenet's truth with its heart and soul and accorded itself a name of reckon for the last 3 decades as one of the top technical institutes in the state of Karnataka India established by a great philanthropist and educationalist my vision is to develop world class institute out of the students who hail from social economically weaker sections of the society we need a vision a commitment and a very very strong will i think the gratification is what better social and charity work can i do and i will follow in his footsteps and continue to do that spread over an expanse of 30 acres in the historic city of kolar gold fields and mines the lush green surroundings of the institute provides a conducive atmosphere for an excellent academic experience and growth dr t timas of technology is imparting quality technical education and empowering the students and thereby transforming the students with state of the art infrastructure the college offers undergraduate courses in various engineering fields like mining engineering civil engineering mechanical engineering electronics and communication engineering computer science and engineering electrical and electronics engineering along with post graduate courses in mechanical engineering mtech machine design with each department having its own laboratory and research facilities besides the institute has the distinction of being the first private mining college in india to have the only model mining lab 
the biofuel research information and demonstration center at dr ttit has been bringing awareness about renewable sources of energy amongst the students and general public of the kolar district the geological museum adds another milestone with its collection of rare gems stones and fossils the institute provides high speed internet connectivity for the students besides providing one of the best libraries in the state with more than 43000 books along with many international and national journals digital library language lab and audio video block inside the library makes it an ocean of knowledge The institute is recognized by the All India Council of Technical Education and affiliated to Vishveshwaraya Technological University Government of Karnataka has not only been in the forefront of imparting top-notch education but also has gone full throttle in placing its students at respectable positions Our best candidates have come from this college so you all should be really proud of the institution that you are in ever striving to give its students the best of the best the institute has tied up and signed mous with various organizations and institutes we also have a cisco academy program where we have trained around 300 plus students on networking concepts for civil and mechanical uh, students we have a cat center i have a dream to get placed in a good company and this college helped me by providing placement training classes like tcs it employability and also we have been trained for cisco networking academy with many scholarship programs running the institute walks the extra mile i was from a poor background So in that situation my entire fees was paid by president venkat vadan sir to provide good education to all including the meritorious and underprivileged with the encouragement from our president dr t venkat vadan we at dr ttit is in the process of achieving academic excellence to develop true sportsmanship spirit the college has a huge sports complex The college had organized VTU athletic meet with more than 1800 participants and was a benchmark in the university. The cafeteria at Dr. TTIT presents an ideal place of sitting, meeting and eating. There is a medical center at the heart of the campus to take care of the students' health. Our college also gives us opportunity to improve our hobbies. We have a college music bank. The student center and amphitheater at Dr. TTIT is the hub of all extra and co-curricular activities. The college has four hostels for boys and girls. Each hostel has a separate mess facility, recreation centers and gym. The college has its own fleet of buses to provide transportation facility for staff and students from various locations. Over the last 30 years, more than 7000 students have graduated from Dr. TTIT. Feels great to be back here. Lot of changes, lot of positive changes, more hostels, campus improvement and it's great. Recently, Dr. TTIT added another precious stone to its crown by hosting the first international conference on recent trends in technology engineering and applied science and continue its trend of churning today's learners into tomorrow's leaders Now
will watch about the head of Golden Value Education Trust, Dr. T. Venkat Vardhan, President of GDET and Managing Director of DNA Networks, Bangalore. DNA and team. With the state of enlightenment, now I request a principal, Dr. Syed Arif, to give the welcome address. Today is a wonderful and a memorable day for all of us present online. 
especially to the newly joined students and the parents as we are conducting 35th students induction program it is my immense pleasure to welcome the esteemed dignitaries and all those who are present online first of all let me extend a warm and hearty welcome to our chief guest sri es chakravarti global head tata consultancy services private limited who will be delivering the inaugural address on this occasion thank you very much sir for your esteem presence and looking forward to your inspirational and motivational inaugural address now let me extend my heartfelt welcome to our beloved president of golden valley educational trust dr t venkat bodar managing director of dna networks and an international icon in event management sir i kindly request you to preside over the program and looking forward to your presidential address sir thank you for your gracious presence sir let me also extend a hearty welcome to our young and dynamic vice president of golden valley education trust sri rahul vadhan who is also the son of our lord president thank you very much sir for your precious presence for this occasion now extend a warm welcome to the secretary of trust dr c krishna kumar treasurer sri harisha prabhu esteemed members of trust governing council members principals of kgf pu college kgf fasgate college and sri kengal hanumanthaya law college let me take this opportunity to extend a warm and hearty welcome with gratitude to the newly joined students and their parents for having selected our institution last but not the least let me extend a warm welcome to the dna team faculty and staff members of our institution before i end my welcome speech let me congratulate all the newly joined students and their parents for selecting our institution let us all work together to impart the budding engineers with a value added skills for a successful career once again wishing you all the best thank you thank you sir now i request professor rukmani divakaran dean academics to brief the college report very good morning to all i am happy to place a brief report of dr t timaya institute of technology before you the founder president of the institute late dr t timaya ias retire was a great philanthropist and educationist who relentlessly worked to provide quality technical education to the rural and the underprivileged section of the society in kgf for over 6 decades following the footsteps of president emeritus our president dr t venkatwardhan is leading the institutions under gvet his vision is to develop a world class institution and to this end he has provided the best campus state of art infrastructure and he motivates the faculty members in all the activities our president dr t venkatwardhan has also encouraged and funded research projects and the dr t timaya research and innovation council he has provided this year a seed fund of rupees 20 lakhs to this center we also have dr tvv center of excellence innovation and incubation which is dedicated to the students to engage in research and learning we have established tcs it employability learning center under the aegis of tata affirmation and learning center a csr initiative from 2016 this provides employability benefit programs to the underprivileged students of our institution more than 300 students are trained under this program we have mous center of excellences and Inst industry institute interaction from the eminent companies such as Cisco Networking Academy, Bill Forge Private Limited, BML Limited, Autodesk, Robotics Process Automation, powered by Blue Prism, Natala Innovation Private Limited, and 
Acumens Automation Private Limited. We also have association with government institutions such as National Institute of Rock Mechanics and Biofuel Research Information and Demonstration Center, Government of Karnataka for the students research activities. We have established Institute Innovation Council and the Ministry of Education, Government of India, where we have been awarded four stars out of five for the year 2020. It is for promoting the innovation culture, research and incubation in our campus. We are proud to announce that we have got approval from VTU for the research centers in all departments for which this year rupees 11 lakhs is allotted by our president. With the encouragement from our president during the academic year, faculty members have presented and published more than 85 research journals in various conferences and journals. Around 50 technical papers were published by our students under the guidance of faculty members in the national and international journals. During the pandemic, our students from all branches of engineering participated in more than 600 online national level technical events and workshops. Our faculty members have conducted 14 webinars, 37 quizzes, 3 FTPs. They also attended several webinars, quizzes and FTPs under the professional bodies like ICT Academy, Institute of Engineers, IETE, ISTE and CSI. Two patents are, were registered by our faculty members and one is being published by Professor Janita and Tamilwani from Department of ECE. As part of the holistic development program in our college, the second international conference was conducted online, which is a great success and the proceedings were published. Our students are encouraged to visit industries related to their discipline in third and fourth year. The internship is made compulsory to all students as it is meant to keep the ongoing graduates fit to enter their respective industries. Due importance is given to placement and training. In 2020, during the pandemic, more than 36 eligible students were placed through on-campus and school campus recruitment drives conducted by ECS, Wipro, Accenture, Wistron, Accord, Infosys, Byju's, Industry Era, etc. Our president has also introduced scholarships for underprivileged and meritorious students by completely waiving off their tuition fees. The meritorious students scoring 8.5 and above CGPA are given scholarship every academic year. He also presents a generous sum of rupees 1 lakh and a gold medal to the students securing highest marks in their four years examination. This has proven to be a motivation to all the students. In our institution, every student is allotted with a guide and a mentor for mentoring academically and guiding them for our overall development. Our students are encouraged to participate in various sports activities under VTU. Last academic year, we have hosted VTU single zone cross country race where 209 students participated. In VTU Athletic Meet, our students received three medals and one student, Dinesh, from Civil Department, won university level gold medal in 400 meters run and is also qualified to participate in inter-university sports meet on behalf of VTU. The cultural activities are also given due importance. Every student of this institution looks forward to it, to exhibit their talents in the fest called Gold Rush. At the pinnacle of our glory is the stupendous performance by our students in the university examinations. We are consistently achieving 100% results in the final year. Today, we are proud to say that our college has secured four ranks from university for the year 1920. 
with this our college has a total of 56 university ranks and are placed 10th among 213 colleges in the vtu with this i conclude the report and wish you all the very best thank you thank you madam we have with us chief guest for today's program mr e s chakravarti global head pcs bangalore he has completed master degree in computers from phd college of technology coimbatore and bachelor degree in electronics and communication from andhra university andhra pradesh he has been honored with chanakya award national achiever for the year 2013 for business excellence in hr by public relation council of india for his outstanding contribution to profession industry and society mr es chakravarti has been honored to be member of national social security board under the chairmanship of honorable minister of labor and employment representing eminent persons from civil society we are proud to have you in our midst sir now i kindly request mr es chakravarti global head pcs bangalore to address the gathering hi uh, very good morning uh, do you mind to confirm are you able to hear me principal sir yes sir you are audible sir okay thank you a very very good morning and uh, thank you so much for uh, dr tt it for giving me a wonderful opportunity to reach out to you through the digital way and uh, connect with all the fresh engineering students who are getting into dr tt it and share my thoughts and views on this amazing day my dear students and i prefer to call as my dear children congratulations for getting into dr tt it is a phenomenal institution and i have been with this institution for close to 19 years of association in 2001 sometime during april may time frame in 2001 when i came back from my us stint in tcs somebody introduced a person by name vinay brother introduced this institution to me as part of tcs academic what is it no forum and from that day from 2001 to 2020 and couple of days more it becomes 20 years i have seen the same value system going strong and strong in this institution what is that value system after dr tt it simple commitment towards rural education in karnataka and india had served them to all the founders to the teams and dr venkat my sincere hats off to all of you for consistently and constantly demonstrating the value system of contributing to the rural education of india is something amazing it's my 20 years of association which made me to say those words on this institution and the second thing i like about this institution especially last one decade at least twice in a year i visit this institution professionally from tcs perspective 
and also personally because i like this institution because i seen this institution from grassroots level one thing that always excites me is the staff of this institution i see the same faces and by the way i see the same smiling faces every time i visit this institution and i always ask this question to dr ttit how you are able to manage the longevity of professors and teachers in this institution is something amazing and even corporates must learn from dr ttit and how they are able to manage the people and the staff working that institution with low attrition levels something very inspiring hats off to the staff of dr ttit and the third thing what i like about this institution boys and girls i'm giving my insights what i know about this institution to set up confidence and comforts in you and to tell you as an external party that what choice you took today for your next step of education which is engineering education is the right step that you have taken and most importantly to your hard working parents the third one that i always what is it you know remember any time about this institution is going back the words of the principal sir in a very short speech he mentioned let's work together when he mentioned let's work together it is work, working together with the teachers working together with the management working together with the students working together with the parents and working together with the corporates and the talks about working together with the complete stakeholder community of education and that is something which i always see in this great institution they reach out to all the stakeholders and they work together with the stakeholders to consistently generate value for every student of this particular engineering institution and that is the third thing i like about this institute the fourth one is the personal excellence let's not talk about teaching excellence and academic excellence for a minute that i will cover as part of my later part but the kind of personal excellence that you go through because of the networking of things that dr venkat brings into the academic institution and you have gone through that video to introduce dr venkat i don't call him as my friend but definitely call him as a person who inspires me and a person who gives lot of guidance to us on how we need to work towards the academia i always treat him with high levels of respect and if i see in his profile video the kind of things he does the kind of businesses they run and that gives tremendous amount of opportunity to give enough exposure to the students of dr ttit which helps you to excel from a personal perspective the overall development of an individual dr tt it has a rich what is that you know ecosystem built into the college and there is a fourth one and the fifth one my last point is the management commitment towards the institution it's not easy 35th induction day in kgf it's not easy the talent available there the access that they have competing with bangalore it's not easy to survive but still we are today seeing the 35th induction day and that talks about the management commitment of dr venkat in this institution any time i meet him we only discuss about three things number one what is that we need to build more infrastructure in the college be it be technology infrastructure or it be it be physical infrastructure number two which always what is it to know inspires me is what is that we need to do to encourage the talent to come up whether through funding them whether giving them cash prizes or anything of that particular what is the things that they do financial commitment etc etc 
is something extremely, extremely stunning in this particular college. And the third one is, how can we make this institution to become an institution of choice in the state of Karnataka? He doesn't talk about in the district of Kola. He talks about how we can make Dr. TTAT an institution of choice in the state of Karnataka. I think that's exactly the management commitment I'm talking about. So, boys and girls, congratulations. I just don't want to walk away by saying that Dr. TTIT is a great institution and congratulations to you. I just want to communicate the views and insights what I understood in the last two decades of my association with Dr. TTIT and share it with you. So value systems towards rural education, number one. And number two, the staff. And then number three, the teamwork. And the fourth is the personal excellence. And the fifth one is management commitment. That makes this institution the right choice for you to start your engineering education for the next four years. Congratulations to you and your parents too. Trust me, once this COVID and pandemic is over, you will see me much more frequently physically in that institution because it's a liking for many one of us in TCS to visit that institution and be with that institution and ensure that we contribute something back to the students of this particular institute. It's a matter of pride and respect for us to come to this institution. So you guys will see us more and more in action in the college once you physically are in the college. Now let me, what is it to know, come to you guys. Boys and girls, four years. Plenty of time. Absolutely plenty of time. What is that you need to do as part of engineering education? And don't worry about the outcome of engineering education. If you understand what to do during these four years, outcome is guaranteed and granted and it's for sure for you in your pockets. Engineering education is the most successful education stream available across the world because technology is playing a very, very important role in creating millions and millions of opportunities. Absolutely no doubt about success, outcome. It's granted and guaranteed for you. But you need to know what is that you need to do as part of this four years course under the umbrella of Dr. TTIT. The first one, I will not talk much. As I told you, you'll see me more often in the college. So we'll get plenty of opportunities to see you, meet you, and give a lot of inputs to you for your betterment, for your career, for your, what is it, no, engineering education. Absolutely, don't worry about it. Let me take a couple of minutes and tell you guys what is it you need to do as part of these four years engineering education. My dear children, academics are very, very important. Fundamentals of education. I'm not going to speak rocket science here. I'm going to talk only fundamentals. The foundation of engineering education is your subjects. Semester after semester. Subject after subject. As part of the stream you belong to, computer science, information science, electronics and communication, mechanical engineering, etc., etc. Every subject is important for you. My fundamental stress is on understanding the importance and the purpose of that particular subject. When somebody is teaching you data structures in computer science, when somebody is teaching you thermodynamics in mechanical engineering education, and somebody is teaching digital circuits in electronics and communication education, or somebody is teaching satellite communication as a subject in engineering education, or elective in engineering education, First of all, understand purpose and the importance of that particular subject. And number two, what exactly you need to achieve as goals once you are done with the subject. The third one is how that subject is going to help you as part of the overall outcome of engineering education. So every subject that gets taught is important, but you need to understand why is that subject what is the purpose of that subject? What is that I need to do as part of this particular subject? What are the important methodologies that we need to learn? And what are the important 
outcomes that we need to achieve as part of this particular subject what is getting taught in engineering education which we call it as outcome based education every subject is important and my second statement is every subject you must have a complete clarity of that particular subject teachers of dr tt it will give you all the information data points insights to make you arrive with the 100% clarity of the subject that is number 1 number 2 every class is important if you ask me what is the success of engineering education for me when i did my btech and masters it is my 100% attendance to the classroom sessions nothing else i am telling you 90% of what we achieve today is because of the classroom commitment what we had when we are doing engineering education teachers are the best mentors teachers are the best coaches and teachers are the best friends for you in the classroom the most powerful thing that happens in our life is the time what we spend between those four walls which we call it as a classroom take every class seriously especially because of pandemic scenario people are doing digital classrooms it's okay it's not that entertaining compared to a physical classroom but i'm sure dr ttit will do everything possible till the covid scenario is done we will go through these digital classes but every class is important i must say 100% attendance the third one is preparing for the class you have that beautiful time table why somebody gives you the schedule which we call it as time table because you know the kind of subjects getting thought tomorrow and the kind of topics getting thought tomorrow which will give you an opportunity to go through a self reading and a preparation to go to the classroom for example somebody is teaching about requirements engineering for next one week and is going to start from next week as a sincere engineering student open the textbooks and you go through a personal reading of all the topics just go through it browse through it read through it and whatever you understand write it down and that is the preparation for the class work you need to get into a a self mode of reading the textbooks and preparing the text class even before you physically attend the classroom sessions which is very very important boys and girls these are the fundamentals of becoming successful in engineering education number 1 every subject with purpose understood number 2 100% attendance and number 3 preparing for the class preparing for the class every class and every subject and every topic they teach should become a revision to you rather than new to you and the only way you can do it is go through the textbook as per the crash schedule do a self reading and all of you are phenomenally talented is nothing great nothing complex in engineering education except here and there some few topics one self study you will understand 15% of the topic and then you go to the classroom you understand 80% of the topic and then you start asking questions and you get clarifications from the teacher you are 100% on top of the topic or the subject what they cover very very important preparing for the class work and attending attending the class work the fourth one i want to talk about five when it comes to basic fundamentals the fourth one is problem solving is the key if somebody questions me or puts a query to me what is the purpose of engineering education the way i understood is the purpose of engineering education is to solve problems today if you look at technology why technology is becoming so popular because it's solving the problems let's look at the way you guys are doing your induction program today digitally everything digitally because physically we are not able to come together because of pandemic scenario because of certain what is it no issues 
but who had the solution technology gave you the solution and we are calling it as digital classrooms we are calling it calling them as digital induction programs so technology always gave us opportunities to solve problems and being technical students the purpose of engineering education is to constantly solve problems in the classroom once you refer to the book and once you finish the what is the you know, theory then you have problem statements as exercise try to solve as many problems as possible the real purpose of engineering education is to become a problem solver normally when i go and see the resume is right there is a very important in my at least last 15 years i am consistently talking to students coaching them mentoring them of course the platforms what gets created by dr ttit i have seen lakhs and lakhs of students i have gone through amazing number of resumes and, and profiles and the first thing that i always do is the hobbies normally you see music reading right surfing right or sports i just want you guys to look at problem solving as a hobby rather than anything else in life problem solving must become a hobby for the engineering students of every stream and that is the fourth one which i want to tell you problem solving is very very important so when you are doing that problem solving in engineering education you get small project works you will do semester project work sometimes you know not sometimes sometimes most of the subjects will give you some mini projects most of the subjects in every semester and finally when we get into final year you get an opportunity to do a full time project those projects works are very very important for you take them very very seriously and that is the fourth one which i would like to mention problem solving whether you go to a library or you go to a laboratory or whether you get into any kind of what is it you know out of the class what is it you know events always focus on problem solving that is the most important purpose of engineering education and the fifth one so while you are doing this education right few subjects becomes your favorite subjects don't ask me how you get into a favorite subject sometimes you like it sometimes you enjoy it and sometimes your teacher is brilliant and sometimes you feel it as easy sometimes somebody said that in engineering education if you are strong in c++ and c programming opportunity sir plenty there are so many drivers which makes a subject as a favorite subject to you in engineering always we picked up around four five favorite subjects i did my btech electronics and communications i did my masters in computer science when i did my masters in computer science the most favorite subject to me is software engineering and the most favorite subject to me is data structures and the most what is that you know favorite subject to me is programming right so why we got into this is because of various reasons because of teacher because of understanding the importance of the subject for the future what is it you know job opportunities and sometimes you like it when you are solving a problem using some coding you love to love to what is it you know solve as many problems as possible and on that day c programming is a language which is taught to us in mtech computer science and we became very fond of c c programming because we are solving problems using c program and once those subjects gets favorites to you don't stop in the classroom go and understand what is happening in the world with respect to those subjects the library is the best place if somebody likes engineering mechanics as part of their engineering education every day at least half an hour spend on what is happening in the domain of engineering mechanics what kind of problems are getting solved what is the new technology trends we are seeing in engineering mechanics what kind of white papers are getting published and what kind of what is it you know journals are publishing with respect to engineering mechanics and if somebody gets very 
fond of mobile communication subject what is happening in the mobile industry what is happening in the technology industry with respect to mobility what kind of white papers are getting published what kind of what is it you no know, problems are getting what is it you no know, solved and that is something which you need to really run every day to understand what is happening in the bigger world with respect to those favorite subjects so boys and girls i gave five simple things to do and that is something which is very very important for academics and done with my first point academics are very important every subject with purpose is very important 100% class classroom attendance is very important number 3 preparing for the class sessions are very very important number 4 problem solving is very important and number 5 getting awareness of what is happening outside our college in the industry in the world which is in sync with our favorite subjects that's it and that makes you phenomenally placed with respect to economics and if you do all these five everybody from ttit will be a distinction student 80% 90% is nothing it will come on its way because you have put enormous amount of hard work in attending every class understanding every class and solving every problem tell me which university doesn't give you a 90% what is it no score it comes by default that's what i said success outcome is granted and guaranteed provided that you know what to do in the four years of education the second one a for academics i covered it very nicely for the last couple of minutes and i i don't have a time limit because in dr tt80 at least dr venkat tells me chats you take as much of time is for you and that kind of privilege and that kind of freedom i get in this institution so even if i go by 10 minutes more it's okay it is for your good and the second important thing that you need to worry about in engineering education which you need to put into action in engineering education is communication skills very very important today for the global businesses for the organizations for the right what is that to you know having the right communication is the must topic so communication skills especially the rural engineering students must spend good amount of time and effort on building your communication communication skills especially in the language of english fortunately or unfortunately today english is the universal language accept it absolutely accept it and of course we have commitment to our mother tongue when we go back to our houses we'll talk in mother tongue we'll read novels we'll read books we'll go through literature and all the commitment is there absolutely nobody can touch us because the name mother tongue itself makes us so personal but for professional success you need to understand the universal language right for technology students the universal language is coding and for technology students the universal language is english business communication you must understand the importance of speaking in english communicating in english and articulating in english with confidence and high levels of comfort is what i say the art of communication very very important boys and girls all of us have gone through rural education and you can't believe till my 8th standard i was part of sanskrit education i went to a small gurukul patashala you don't even have a bus during those days i did from second standard to 8th standard in that gurukul patashala which is completely taught in sanskrit and combination of telugu because i belong to state of andhra pradesh today we have gone through n number of challenges met n number of people and learned this art of communication from people by speaking and by practicing that's it there is no other solution to get communication skills and compared to you 
we are not good with respect to communication because nobody gave us opportunities taught us how to speak in english and communicate in english and nobody even ever thought about communication skills becoming so important when we are part of our bachelor's degree i did in 90 to 94 no soul in our college told us the importance of communication they all said importance of marks importance of passing the engineering education importance of project work and importance of preparing for gate examination those days there are no campus placements also people used to go through gate examination as the next step or people used to go through masters outside the what is that you know the country and few jobs here and there i'm talking about in 1994 computer science is a branch in few colleges nobody told us what is the importance of communication and we never even practiced we never spoke we always what is that to know believed in subjects marks and scores and get examination once we got into our masters just 6 months before the campus placements somebody told us the importance of communication boys and girls the world is in front of your doorstep today opportunities are plenty the first time i got an access to internet you can't believe in 1997 i joined tcs 3 months i was deployed to california and i got an opportunity to get the first internet connection sometime in 2000 the mobile in 2002 till i came back to india i never had a mobile in 2002 or 2003 i got my first mobile can you believe it if we are able to make so much of progress in life because of the restricted environment and resources and infrastructure you guys are born from day zero and once i don't want to mention the names here one of the chief ministers called me just casual note and he asked me chakravarti sir you are there you know in the in the education for almost like 20 years what is the change in education he expected me to say because later he commented me he expected me to say technology education colleges are doing pretty good and uh, and infrastructure is amazing and all that you know what i said the commitment levels of parents towards education in this country has gone up by 100 times compared to when i was in education and that is the beauty of our hard working parents today education became the means and purpo- purpose of every individual is because of the focus coming from parents that is what is the strength of india so you have highly committed parents and teachers what else you need to pick up just one more language of communication if you ask me the most complex language is my mother tongue if you ask me the most complex language is sanskrit if i am able to learn what is the problem in learning english and communicate in that language with confidence and comfort it's just a matter of practice practice and practice the second point which i would like to mention to you the third point which i would like to mention to you is culture as an individual four years you are going to be part of this great institution you meet lot of people you get good friends you get lot of colleagues you see lot of action happening in the college but what is that you need to nurture yourself as an individual is the culture of an engineering student culture of hard work i don't want to give a big lecture people are completely aware of what is hard work 24 hours even today we work 18 hours per day and we are still happy we are still energetic we are still healthy right because our hard work our commitment towards the work similarly your commitment and hard work towards your own education that is the culture what you nurture as an individual the culture of hard work number 2 the culture of setting targets very important every semester you must have a target every subject you must have a target for example if they teach six subjects the first target is all six subjects 
I need to clear. The second target, all the six subjects, I must be first class. The third target, in that six subjects, two are my favorites. I want to hit 90% plus. That is the way you define the targets in your life. And keep defining those targets, simple targets, every semester and try to go after the targets and achieve the targets and become a target achiever in your life. Very important. How you set targets, go after targets and, and get the targets met. Boys and girls, once the target is set, target will not change. The way you go and meet the target only has to change. The culture of setting targets and meeting the targets consistently is very, very important for your culture. Number three, the culture of sharing. Very important. In engineering education, especially in India, unfortunately, we created a lot of competition. If two kids are studying in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a house, sister and brother, there is a competition between sister and brother also. And normally when you have too much of competition, huh, you try to keep everything to, your, to yourself. And you start getting into silos. No, that is not right. Once you achieve something, by sharing it, by teaching it, by telling others, you become much more richer. You know how to solve a problem in a simpler way. Go and tell 100 people in the class. And you know what kind of questions are so important. Please go and tell 100 more people in the classroom. It is not your success, my success. It is my success along with my colleagues in the classroom. It is my success along with my class success. This is something newly we need to bring in. Competition is always there. But collectively, we need to do a better job in the college. And that is something which is called as culture of sharing with people. Share your knowledge. Share your problems. What is it to know? Solving capabilities. Share your information. By sharing, you become much more richer and you become much more stronger. I can talk for next 24 hours on this concept of culture. But these two, three things are very, very important. Culture of hard work. Culture of setting up targets and meeting them. And culture of sharing the information, sharing the knowledge, sharing the assets also. For example, you go to a library and bring a good textbook. And you know concept is very clear in the textbook. And the concept is very easy to understand in the textbook. Tell 10 more friends. Hey, guys, go there. The textbook is very good. And the concept is very simple. And I liked it. You may want to refer to. The real joy comes when you become successful and also by sharing with others. And that is the true joy that you enjoy in your life. So with this, boys and girls, academics are very important. I mentioned good points to you, simple points to you. Take it if you see meaning in that. And number two, communication is very important. And number three, I spoke about culture of hard work, culture of setting targets, culture of sharing with people. And of course, I mentioned what all the critical things that you get as part of Dr. TTIT, whether it is staff or teamwork, management commitment or personal excellence. And in total, their commitment towards rural education, all these things built a beautiful ecosystem in Dr. TTIT. Enjoy that ecosystem. Nurture that ecosystem and become successful. And the only place where I want to refer to a paper now is I went through that opening video, that inaugural video, right? I noted the four what is it, you know, points from there. And principal sir spent about uh, working together. I quoted it. And Rukmini madam said, my favorite teacher, every time I come to, I come to that particular, what is it, you know, uh, college, she's always there receiving me. Amazing, what is it, you know, family members. I, I treat them as part of my family. And she's there to help you. They're all there to help you. All right. And in that video, there are four words or small, what is it, you know, group of words. I noted when I am seeing the what is the you know, video. One is 
path destination in the first few lines right it spoke about path to destination destination is you and your success and path is dr ttit whatever they say take it with commitment and seriousness number 2 talk about connected connected the word came connected be connected with your colleagues your teachers your entire ecosystem by communicating them actively in english in every transaction and try to build up your communication skills every classroom you can speak every occasion when you get an opportunity to speak to your colleague in the classroom or in the hostel or in the mess be connected and communicate in english express in english speak in english and build the concept of english communication and the last two are very very powerful lead me higher and lead me deeper lead me higher and lead me deeper problem solving is a solution to go high and to go deeper the problem solution solving problems is the way to go higher and to go what is deeper once you start solving problems right you you become like a like a like a guy who doesn't want to sleep you just want to solve as many problems as possible so you go deeper 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 into that favorite subject the more deeper you go into the favorite subject the opportunities are going to be higher in life that is exactly what i connected the dots between your inaugural what is it no song and the principal sir please whatsapp me that particular inaugural song i really liked it and i want to show it to my kids also who are who are currently in under education and i want them to also to take some kind of what is it no inspiration from that video with these guys congratulations and dr venkat sir always at your service always at your call one call away from you me and my team because we both believed in serving the rural parts of what is it no karnataka especially in the what is it no world of education in the world of academics please count on us though we keep raising roles or raising the bar with respect to our roles and responsibilities but we always have time for dr ttit it's my sincere promise to you and boys and girls last three statements from me before i end parents are so precious in life take care of them what they ask is respect from us that's all respect your parents number 2 make good friends in your life people who stand when there is a problem in your life is your friends please create some few good friends where you can talk very openly talk very trans- lot of transparency you can tell your problems you can tell your joy you can share your happiness we need to create some good little friends for us and third one is my last statement you lose marks it's okay you lose a subject it's okay you lose anything in life it's okay and sometimes i go to the extent sometimes we need to lose our parents and friends also it happened to me i lost my mom but never ever lose your character because the second you lose the character there is nothing else to lose in life character is the most most important asset for you as an individual success keeps coming and going in tcs i had many failures i had few successes i am but i made good friends but my father looks at me with respect because of the respect i pay to him the third one is never gave an opportunity to anybody to comment on my character same thing is applicable for you because i learned from my father i learned from my teachers i learned from my what is that to know some role models same thing is applicable thank you all the best god will shower all the blessings god will give all the what is that necessary strength and energy to get out of this covid scenario and to become extremely successful because of the path given by dr ttit as part of your four years education and thanks to dr Ven- venkat sir for giving me a great opportunity over to you your speech was motivational sir as you said 
technology is getting integrated in everything that we do and there is no dearth of opportunities for engineering students today thank you once again sir for all your suggestions for the new beginners as well for the institution oh, growth now we have the growth of the institution is not possible overnight hard work workmanship team effort above all leadership leads for the constructive and result oriented institution we proudly proclaim that an efficient and pivotal leadership of dr t venkat vardhan has elevated this institution to meet the requirement of global demand with love care concern and speed the evolution of the institute for the past three decades has witnessed strong blend of state of the art infrastructure and intricately intertwined human resource committed to provide professional education with trust on creativity and innovation wow awards asia honored a president with lifetime achievement award for his three decade long contribution in event management for his pioneering efforts in bringing global entertainment to home truly stands the test of time now i request our beloved president dr t venkat vardhan to give the presidential address thank you veena <clears throat> thank you mr chakravarti for the inspirational speech as always which we look forward to every other <clears throat> every other time that you come and address us or the students it's always very enlightening uh, because you come from a ba- background of not just opportunities but looking at what's going on in the world uh, real as a part of our college educational program is not only inspiring for the students but is also very gratifying for the management welcome dear students for the 35th induction program 2020 i also welcome all the parents who are possibly looking at this right now and it's been a very very difficult year for all of us given this uh, pandemic that has taken place not just here but across the globe which has impacted millions and millions of people around the world and as mr chakravarti mentioned imparting education at a professional level at the district <clears throat> is not a easy task it's a because of infrastructure it's because of connectivity and a host of other <clears throat> various issues that are faced and given all this over a period of time we have been able to along with our management our teachers non teaching staff <clears throat> and most importantly <clears throat> excuse me the students themselves come about as a very successful college based in a rural area which has the un uh, the unbelievable task of making us 10 amongst the 230 colleges that are there in karnataka our aim is to go to 1 in 5 in a very short period of time i welcome all our students to pick up on one thing that mr chakravarti was talking about which i also have been prophesying from a very long time and that is the communication and the learning medium which is english now whether as i said whether we like it or not english is something that we require not just to speak and communicate but also to learn through for your next four years and there go beyond one important fact that i would like to bring to you new students as well as the parents even before the university which is btu introduced english as a compulsory subject in the first year i had already done that 
two or three years prior to help our students without it having any directive from the university. And that led to a lot of positive uh, improvements and help for the students to hone on to their skills of communication, learning and talking soft skills and the whole nine yards. So I would definitely encourage you to pay attention, not just in class to learn, but also spend some time in the library, pick up a habit of reading maybe even 15 minutes of a book or a periodical, which is in English, make notes, understand it. The other thing which is unique in our college, which I have to point out and which the, our principal is, along with the Dean of Academics, is very nicely managing, is the mentor and guide program which we have introduced close to maybe two, two and a half years ago. What does this entail? So for every 10 students, we have guides as well as mentors. So we can cover the entire matrix of the students that are there in the uh, college campus. And they will help you both in terms of mentoring, in terms of giving you notes, in terms of attending to see if they, you have a problem to solve it and uh, you know various other things. Now, please do make use of all these facilities that are there in the college with our excellent teaching and non-teaching staff. And it will only help you in becoming better students to understand the subjects better, to understand and make your skills better. And thereafter, the final phase, which is a job placement for you, every student. So we have excellent programs that we have kept into place, including companies, global companies like which uh, Mr. Chakrabarti uh, works at uh, TCS and many others do come and do campus drives and other initiatives and training programs and certification, uh, which is why don't think like you could leave everything to the last year or the last, semester, last two semesters. You have to start right from the beginning in terms of gradually learning all these aspects, participating in them. So it will make your stay in the institution so much more easier because if you plan things and do it uh, ahead of time then everything becomes that much more easy even the result for your efforts will not go unanswered that i can assure you with all this said the campus that we have unfortunately because of the pandemic many of you may or may not have seen it but i can assure you and your parents that our campus is like one of the best campuses that is there in Karnataka or possibly any other part of India. We compare with most of the good uh, campuses. There are not too many distractions. So you can pursue your studies. It's, they've got large lung spaces. There's no uh, pollution. And you know, we've got great sports infrastructure, library, gymnasium, the whole nine yards. And you, your stay here can be very comfortable and concentrate to allow you to concentrate on honing your skills, both in terms of expression in English, learning in English, and developing your soft skills to get ready for a job, uh, which will be four years from now. But having said that, if you start slowly now with proper planning, I think you will make, each one of you will make a brilliant engineer and go out there in the world and bring accolades for yourself. With these few words, I would like to thank our trustees, the, uh, my principals, uh, the teaching staff, non-teaching staff, our professors, and most of all, your parents who have entrusted you into our co college. And I promise that we will take care of you in the best way we can. And we have enough uh, faculty to help your wards to be safe and give them a secure future. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for the informative speech. Before we end this program, I request Dr. Chennai, Vice Principal and HOD Mechanical Department of the TTIT, 
to propose the oath of thanks. Very good afternoon to all of you. On behalf of management, principal, faculty, and students, it's my pleasure to propose the vote of thanks on this 35th induction program 2020 conducted virtually because of the pandemic. I take this opportunity to thank today's chief guest, Sri E.S. Chakravarti, Global Head, Resource Management Group, Tata Consultancy Services, Bengaluru, for gracing this occasion and sharing his valuable thoughts and also inspiring the young engineering students and their parents. Thank you very much, sir. My heartfelt thanks to our beloved president, Dr. T. Venkat Vardhan, for his great continuous support and encouragement in all the developmental activities of our college and presiding over the functions, sir. Thank you very much. President, Mr. Rahul Kengal Vardhan and Mr. Rohan Vardhan for their gracious presence. Thank you, sir. I extend my thanks to our secretary, Dr. Krishna Kumar, our treasurer, Sri Harisha Prabhu, and all the trust members and governing council members for their support. I profoundly thank our principal, Dr. Syed Arif, Dean Administration, Professor Rukmini Divakaran, all heads of the department, faculty members, technical and non-teaching staff for their support to make this function a successful and a memorable one. Also, I extend my heartfelt thanks to Team DNA Networks Bengaluru for their all-round support. I extend my special thanks to all the new students who have joined our TTIT family 
and their parents for being with us to make this function a memorable one. Finally, I thank one and all who have contributed directly or indirectly in today's program. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you one and all for joining today's program virtual and making as a grand success. Have a great day. Separate links will be sent to WhatsApp group to join for afternoon session from respective department coordinators at 2.15. Kindly join. Students, please make a note of it and kindly join for the afternoon session. Thank you once again. Thank you.